Chinodaishim Karati set up a hydroponic system in her backyard as a hobby back in 2017, but after securing regular orders from several restaurants, she went into business in 2018. She's still using the same space and overcoming some challenges in her neighborhood. Where we actually farm from, we don't have access to water, so we have to purchase water. Um, but we save about 90% of water compared to traditional farming. Um, that is one of our biggest pros, um, and as well our time to grow our produce. So we grow most of our produce from seed. It takes us about six weeks compared to traditional soil farming, which will be about 10 to 11 weeks. The nutrients fed to the plants are cheaper than traditional fertilizers. It's also not labor intensive. Just one person manages this entire operation here where there are over 6,000 plants. Hydroponics is being touted as one of the ways to improve food security and nutrition in the face of climate change induced droughts. Hydroponics is quite key because of it uh, recirculating the water and reusing the water vis-a-vis -vis traditional kind of farming, which is farming on land and your water, once you irrigate, your water then seeps down and you are not reusing that water. You're also talking of issues to do with space. There's a lot of urbanization and arable land is getting smaller and smaller. So we have got to look at ways in which we can then uh, farm uh, either on concrete or on a small space. There's growing uptake, particularly in urban areas. So a lot of people are becoming curious, not just the young generation, but also the old generation. We are training people in their 60s who are like, listen, I am about to retire and this is something that I want to do from my retirement stage. Though the initial setup is expensive, Mukarati says the costs are quickly recouped from sales. In addition, innovators are exploring alternative materials to lower the cost of setting up systems so that they are accessible to more people. Farai Mwakutuya. CGTN Harare, Zimbabwe.